Hello everyone, in this video I'll be doing another sketchbook session and doing some anatomy studies just to keep up the drawing game. The materials I'll be using are Kandash luminance pencils, specifically the color Carmine Lake, which I really love. Um, it's one of the few color pencils that I found that has a very dark aubergine color. I'll also be using some pen pastels to briefly construct the base of my drawings. I'm using a triangle spatula where I've cut the tip of the sponge off so that it has a square tip which allows me to get sharp edges with the pen pastels, uh, something which the sponge tips don't really do otherwise. I'm using uh, references from the Mage Pack by Rachel and Noah Bradley which I've had for quite a while and um, from the Express Mail Pack by Graphic Studio. So for the first one here I really started with quite a hard one as I really suck at drawing noses seen from below. Um, it turned out okay in the end, but it definitely could have been better. The left hand gave me quite a bit of trouble and um, really got practice those for shortened hands. I managed to make it at least decent in the end by deviating from the reference a bit and making a more shape based uh, designed hand. So I brought out the paints at this point in order to correct the hand and add some blocked in color. Um, I'm using casein, granacridone violet and titanium white.
this point I decided that the arm was too long and we made it a kind of a shame since I like the shading on it but overall shape and proportion has to go before shading and minor stuff. Um, I'm quite pleased with how the front facing foot on the second one turned out. I've been trying to get better at making front facing feet lately which I find quite hard when you can see the toes. Um, I've also been trying to make some more nuanced knees lately. <laughs> For um, a long time I've had a simple shortcut for making the knee it looks like this, but it doesn't really capture the lower part of the knee bones um, well, so I tried to get those in here without overstating them, which I kind of think is really hard. Um, I struggled a bit with the profile for the second one, that's something which I find a bit hard, making a female profile that look, looks like a normal woman and not either a man or an anime girl as I feel those are the kind of profiles that you see the most often. to the second page. I'm doing a guide for this one using a pose, as I said, from Studio Graphics Express Mail Pack.
couldn't really find a pose that could fit on the rest of the page due to the arm, the stretch out arm, so I decided to draw a skeleton with the Skelly app, uh, the Proco Skelly app, where you can just decide to pose yourself. Um, I've been doing a lot of skeletons lately, so for different projects, so I wanted to do one here too. wasn't 100% pleased with the skull on it um, and it was a bit too small to get a lot of detail in so I decided to do some more studies of skull seen from above uh, in the area that was left. Sorry for the blurry footage in this part, um, the camera focused on the front corner of the sketchbook so the far corner was really blurry, I hope it's at least somewhat watchable.
I decided to break out the black paint at this point. I don't really think it was all that necessary in hindsight, but it turned out okay in the end, even though I struggled a bit with all of the small shapes of the skull. So that's it, here are the final pages at a bit of a better angle. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.